Jennifer Lopez only continues to have a not so great year as there's now rumors that she might be headed for a divorce with Ben Affleck. This would be an absolutely devastating situation, not just because divorce is hard, but also because this year all her projects seem to surround their grand love story. The fact that they've gotten back together after all these years and are so in love. Back in 2021, Jen and Ben made headlines after they rekindled their relationship nearly 20 years after they they first started dating. She ended up coming out to say that her album that came out earlier this year titled This Is Me Now was inspired by the fact that her and Ben had gone back together. She felt inspired to get back into the studio to make music and she followed this album up with a film titled This Is Me Now, A Love Story, which was inspired by, of course, her love story with Ben. And she talked about this in the documentary that she made released called The Greatest Love Story Never Told. This whole year has basically surrounded their love story and she is taking the story on tour with her as she's planned to perform these songs for her fans this summer. But like I mentioned in a previous video, the tour isn't exactly selling the way that they had hoped. And recently it was announced that they had to rebrand the tour to be a greatest hits tour instead of it all surrounding around her latest project. People figured that it was to drive up ticket sales, but now some are wondering if it's because she may not want to perform these songs that she's dedicated to her and Ben's love story if they're about to get a divorce. Now, the reason why people believe this to be true is because there is a lot of stuff that keeps coming out every single day. There is a crumb of information that seems to lead towards them possibly getting a divorce. In the beginning, it didn't seem like there was too much concrete evidence as a lot of people were just saying that the two of them haven't been seen in public together since March 30th when they were house hunting in Manhattan. And people were also trying to say that maybe they weren't together because Ben was not in attendance at the Met Gala and JLo was a co-chair that night. So that was a really big deal and he didn't show. But I will also say that Zendaya was also a co-chair that night and Tom did not attend the Met Gala and they seem to be just fine. So that isn't exactly a solid reason to believe that the two of them are splitting. And people were saying that Ben was working on a movie or at least he was filming something. And so that's why he couldn't go. But this week, I will say the rumors are really getting going and the information that is backing it up is starting to solidify a bit. Things really started going when Jayla was spotted house hunting by herself. She wasn't with Ben and people kind of wondered what was going on here. Almost a year ago, the two bought a house house together a 61 million dollar dream mansion in Beverly Hills and people were wondering you know why was she looking at new properties especially without him when they just recently bought this new place to this I was kind of thinking well maybe she went to go look and if she liked it she would tell him and they would come together or something like that or maybe the house that they bought for 61 million dollars just wasn't cutting it and they want a new place and they're ready to move it happens I guess but then there was this insider who gave a tip to in touch that claimed that they knew that these two were truly done and heading for a divorce. They wrote in an article posted Wednesday, the writing is on the wall. It's over. The insider dishes. They're headed for a divorce. And for once, Ben's not to blame. They continued in touch's source says he decided to call it quits on his marriage to the A-list singer. He's focusing on his work and his kids now. The insider adds, Ben already moved out and they'll likely have to sell the dream house they spent two years searching for. They'll never stop loving each other, but she can't control him and he can't change her. There's no way it could have lasted. Now, when it comes to news sources, In Touch isn't exactly where I'm getting my news from, but this is where the rumors really began. They went on to say how the problems in their relationship stemmed from different ways that they handle being in the spotlight and how JLo really embraces media attention while Ben shies away from it. And this was something that did come up in the documentary that JLo put out earlier this year, The Greatest Love Story Never Told. Ben was talking about how when they got back together, he said that one of the things he didn't want is a relationship on social media. He said that he later realized it's not a fair thing of him to ask someone, especially with Jennifer's type of career where she's always in the spotlight and she is on social media and that they were learning to compromise. But according to In Touch, that didn't end up happening as they later wrote, unfortunately, compromising ended up being harder than the couple thought. They waited almost two decades to get back together, but in the end, they just couldn't make it work, the insider explains. 
They both said they'd matured and learned from their mistakes, but some of the bigger issues that tore them apart the first time remain the same. To add to the situation, TMZ has now reported that it seemed Ben has been staying at a house in LA away from Jen, so not at their $61 million mansion in Beverly Hills. They wrote on Thursday, Ben Affleck has been staying at a home that he seems to be occupying without his wife, Jennifer Lopez, and he was spotted leaving there this morning, this amid split rumors. The actor was photographed Thursday morning in the Brentwood neighborhood of Los Angeles, where we're told he left a house that he's been seen coming from and going to, and where we're told he's been spending the night as well. They also said, we're also told that Ben was not spotted at his house with JLo the night prior, so it seems he spent the night here at this Brentwood address. They said they couldn't confirm if he's 100% moved out of his home with JLo, like In Touch had reported, but that they can confirm that he's been staying at a different house than their shared home for the past week. Now, I will say that despite these rumors, the two of them went in public lately have still been wearing their wedding bands, so only time will tell what's going on with these two, but things are really just starting to add up to a divorce and it's certainly got some more speculation going when jennifer liked a certain something on instagram the instagram post comes from the account your courageous comeback and it was posted back in march but apparently jlo had liked this this thursday and the post includes a couple slides that talk about relationships and it says, you cannot build a healthy relationship with someone who lacks integrity and emotional safety. Why? And it lists the reasons. They're talking about doesn't respect your time, doesn't think it's important to call slash text you back. The other side talks about communication and someone who doesn't know who they are or what they want. And TMZ clocked that JLo liked this. And so people are adding this to the list of reasons why they think that they are done because she's out here liking posts about relationships and not good ones. Now, of course, she could just be liking this because of the fact that she simply agrees with what the post is saying. But people are definitely feeding into, you know, this is an old post. It's from March. Why is it on her feed? Why is she liking stuff about relationships at a time like this? It must be because this is on her mind, something that she's looking for, something that she's talking about because the algorithm is always going based on what you like and, you know, things that you're interacting with. But I don't know. Who knows? Everyone's reading into every little crumb until they either deny or confirm. But what I'll say is that the reactions to this have been extremely loud as JLo has been in the press a lot this year and not in a good way. I mean, literally this past week, she was called out once again on the internet for being rude or coming off as rude or nasty or having an attitude because there was this video going around of her from when she was in New York and someone is opening the door for her and she looked like she had a little attitude or didn't like that he was like so close to her or something and everyone was reading into it saying that this was just another example of JLo being rude or having an attitude with people that are just doing something nice and Oh my gosh, it's just not the best for her. It's not her year. Everything is coming out of the woodworks. Every little clip that you could possibly interpret as like her being rude or nasty or something, they are just like finding. So with news like divorce going around about her, of course, this is going to be spreading like wildfire all around the internet. But it seems Jayla was trying to send a message to the haters as well this week when she posted on Instagram. The caption filled with laughing face emojis. And the video seems to be a possible reaction to not the divorce but what people have been saying in terms of oh JLo is mean or rude or you know she's got an attitude they gotta get something on you if you're that pretty you're that cute you're that talented you've got everything going for you there's gotta be something wrong so you're a big Jennifer Lopez has proven herself to be quite a sort of chameleon when it comes to sort of, you know, the, the types of roles she's chosen. From incredibly sort of dramatic, difficult work to lighter romantic comedy. You know, she's a force. But, but just the sweetest girl. It definitely felt like a response to everything that everyone has been saying about her being a mean girl. And this was her justifying like, look, people have said that I'm really nice or they're only hating on me because there's nothing to hate on me about. But going back to the divorce rumors, people have had things to say about her and Ben for a while, though, I will say. Nearly any time the paparazzi gets a video of the two of them, Ben is looking upset or they're fighting. And obviously people are going to speculate on what's going on when there's clips and photos going around like that and though it seems she wants to rewrite things with the movies and album that she put out earlier this year it might not be the greatest love story in the end which is so sad 
that she's about to have to tour while all this is going on if it all ends up being true. But we will just have to see. I want to know if you guys have been paying attention to this whole situation, these rumors that have been going around this week. Let me know all your thoughts on this in the comments. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys. Oh, my God.